And good evening, Russ. While the two women tell a very disturbing story, it involves nudity and innuendo they claim at the hands of Deshaun Watson. And here's a warning. The women are very explicit. It's been a firestorm surrounding the hiring of Deshaun Watson for the Cleveland Browns. 22 women have accused the quarterback of sexual misconduct. And adding fuel to the fire, two of them have spoken out to HBO. It was getting more and more clear that this is not what I signed up for. Soledad O'Brien with Real Sports took the interviews past accusations. She spoke to Ashley Solis and Kyla Hayes, two of Watson's former massage therapists. Solis visibly upset. As I'm working, he deliberately grabs himself and put his penis on my hand. And I pull my hand away instantly and I started crying. Hayes says Watson's moves were all intentional. Then the next statement is a little tough to hear. At some point he did ejaculate. That was mortifying, embarrassing and disgusting. For Solis Watson only cares for himself. He just said, I know you have a career to protect and I know you don't want anyone messing with it just like I don't want anyone messing with mine. To me, that's when I got really scared. As for Watson's contract with the Browns. For him to say he's never did anything to a woman, it's a bold faced lie. Watson has denied any improprieties or sexual contact with Ashley Solis or Kyla Hayes. Watson's attorney says this. A grand jury decides probable cause. Is there any basis for believing that there was a crime committed? And both of those grand juries found no probable cause to believe any crime at all committed was committed. 